Halloween this year took on a different look because of the coronavirus, but the pandemic did not stop people from celebrating it. WTVA's Aria Thornton shows us how some in Starkville started off the big day. I'm here at Fire Station Park in Starkville, where folks got up early this morning to start their spooky season with several fun-filled Halloween activities. It seems like a lot of people were just really happy to do anything. This morning, the Starkville Community Market hosted a Halloween-themed market, allowing families to show up in costumes and enjoy the spooky holidays safely. Sometimes it's not as easy getting kids out at night. It's dark. Not every neighborhood is doing trick or treating anymore. Um, so this is a great opportunity. Melissa Rogers helped sponsor the Halloween market, but she's also a parent at the event. She said one of her favorite things about today's event was the healthy Halloween treats. The farmers market vendors are handing out healthy trick or treating to kind of give a break from the candy, which I love as a mom when my kids have gotten candy all week at school already. Along with the healthy treats, kids got a chance to show off their costumes in a Halloween parade, even seeing a few dogs thrown into the mix. They also had the opportunity to paint pumpkins and take professionally taken photos in their costumes. Paige Watson is the event coordinator at the Greater Starkville Development Partnership. She said the goal for today was to provide a fun, safe activity to her neighbors. We just wanted to make sure that we created a fun, safe family event um, for the Halloween season, and I definitely think we've accomplished that. Watson said all vendors were required to wear masks while at the market. Social distancing was also monitored throughout the Halloween event. Both Watson and Rogers said their biggest concern was giving their community members a chance to celebrate the holiday while also being safe. I really love it as a mom. I love it for our business with Chick fil A. I love it for the city of Starkville. Now, Watson said they normally have around 250 people attending the markets, but today she's anticipating that to be doubled and have about 500 people here for the Halloween activities. Reporting in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News.